what's up YouTube it's PJ coming back with another video and my car is broken I hate to start the video off like this I'm usually all happy and go lucky or whatever but I did break my car and I'm gonna tell you about that in this video all right so as I open the hood of my car you will be able to notice that I have a few new mods on the car if you can't see it's a 2.7 pulley and of course i needed to get another idler pulley to go along with that but as for now i have the stock belt on it and i did order another belt but i think i'm gonna take my chances with this one and see just how long this will last me before i change to the new belt but uh it, it probably won't be too much long before i do that so to make a long story short i basically changed out these things i changed out my thermostat to a 170 degree thermostat and you know in order to change out your thermostat you have to let all the coolant drain out and so i did all of that whoop de woo and i put all of the coolant back in the tank but me being stupid basically i put all the coolant back in right here when i'm not supposed to do that i'm not supposed to fill it up from here i'm actually supposed to fill it up from here because this is the highest point. And then I would have to burp it and do all those procedures in order to get my car running right. Well, I didn't do that. I put it in here and I, I knew I had to burp it, but I ended up trying to burp it from here, which is a bad idea. All 2003, 2004 Cobra owners, you do not need to fill your coolant up from here. Fill it up from here, right here. And you can get this by using a quarter inch drive i believe it's a quarter inch drive and an extension and just putting it in this little hole right here and twisting it off sometimes it seized but mine wasn't so after i did all the burping and whatever i started the car up it ran fine then i got on the throttle a little bit and next thing you know steam went everywhere and it's just because this right here this pipe right here is the pipe that connects to the heater core i believe Look, I don't know if you can see it, but it, uh, it kind of, yeah, you see that. And at first it was on here, like so, it was on here, and I didn't know where the leak was coming from. I, I panicked, I didn't know anything, basically. I panicked, shut the car off, and almost started crying. But I diagnosed it, and that ended up being a problem. So now, I'm about to change out that. I ordered this from Rock Auto uh saturday and i have it right here because i paid an extra 30 dollars to get it here as soon as possible so i could change this because i want to see what this supercharger is gonna sound like i want to see the performance of my car And here I have the new product. You can see what it looks like. Yeah, and this thing right here, it's not supposed to be like how the other one is, as I showed you. So after a lot of tugging and pulling and squeezing and everything, I was finally able to get this off. And as you can see, I'm not gonna be able to use this tab anymore, like ever again, if the camera would focus. Yeah, but I'm not gonna be able to use this anymore. I had to cut the pipe just because the pipe wasn't acting right. So I cut it, but now I'm about to put on the other one. Just finished burping my coolant the correct way by burping it from here and not from here. So, uh, now it's running pretty properly i got everything installed and things the new hose is on there and now i'm about to take it for a little drive see how she drives all right you guys sorry that i didn't get much on video today um, I'm really just gonna save it for the next video or so because uh, I really do want to get my reaction in this car But for now I'm taking it easy making sure I got everything tightened up right making sure that I installed everything correctly and That's all I'm doing for today. This just about wraps up this video It's basically just an update video to let you guys know why I haven't 
really been doing anything for the past few days. I haven't even been uploading to Instagram. By the way, if you aren't following me on Instagram, you might want to go ahead and follow me on Instagram. But I'm headed home right now. I'm going to let the car cool off and things. Check the cooling again before work in the morning and hopefully everything goes smoothly. But the next video will be a reaction video, so stay tuned. But if you liked the video and it was semi-informational, then just go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already like i said i will be getting my reaction most likely for the next video but yeah that's it so always remember to do more be more believe more and achieve more thank you all for watching <laughs>